Kia ora, welcome to this fortnight's Rick and Report. We're your hosts Leah and Hamish. Let's see what's coming up in the next few weeks. Pride week happened last week. It was great seeing everyone celebrating and getting involved. Let's see what our QSA leaders thought about Pride Week. Kia ora, I'm Lily. And I'm Tanika, and we're two of your QSA leaders for 2023. Pride Week happened last week and it was wonderful to see you all getting involved in supporting our Rambo community. This year we introduced a new big event, our drag fashion show, and we're happy to say it was a great success. Our judges have come to a decision and the winner is Hamish Barclay. They would also like to give some honourable mentions to Trotty and the Year 9s who got involved. They loved every single performance. We're so happy that there was so much interest and that it was enjoyed by everyone. We'd like to thank everyone who showed up to our events during the week. It was really great to see. And we hope it becomes an annual tradition. Thanks again from the QSA. The annual talent show has just begun. The talent show will be run from the start of this week to the end of next week. Make sure you go to the hall during lunchtime to show your support to everyone involved. Good luck for everyone participating and we can't wait to see you on the stage. Hi everyone, I'm Yu Ying and I'm here to give you guys a little update on an exciting event that Michael and I have been working on alongside head students from around Christchurch. We're called the One Schools Network and Wally's for Wellbeing is an event run by us to help promote awareness for youth mental health. We will be walking around Hagley Park on Saturday the 27th of August. You can find more information on the Friday Google Classroom or the Google Forms where you can sign up. This event is being held supported by I Am Hope, which is a charity that provides free counselling for youth. You're welcome to bring your friends and whanau along, but please remember to fill in your form by August the 13th. Looking forward to seeing you guys all in your gumboots. Hi, I'm Maddie, one of your sports kaihotu for this year. We ran our 3v3 basketball tournament last week, which was a great success. Thanks to everyone that came down and supported and participated. Special mention to the Golden Childs who placed first and beat the teachers 10 to 3. Keep an eye out for more future events and follow our Instagram at rhs.sport. The Geraldine Sports Exchange is coming up on the 15th of August. Much like our Kaikoura Exchange, the Geraldine Sports Exchange is where Rickerton sport teams come together against Geraldine High School and compete in many different sports. Best of luck to everyone competing and remember to show the Rickerton way. Time to celebrate student success. This fortnight, we shout out Year 11 Mia Yi. Mia Yi has been nominated for her recent success in the National Secondary School Brass Band in Wellington. Shot! Keep up the great work, Mia, and thank you for showing a great example of the Rickman Way. Feet Week is happening on the 22nd to the 24th of August. For anyone who doesn't know, this is where you sit your prelim exams to get a preliminary grade in case you can't make it to your end of year exams due to medical reasons. Good luck for all of those doing their exams. But juniors, please keep quiet during this week so that our seniors can focus. Do you want to be next year's student rep? The election for the 2024 Board of Trustees Student Representative is coming up fast, with nominations opening within next week in week five. Nominations are open to all students in years 9 to 12 and I strongly encourage you all to run for the role. This is a great opportunity for you to get involved with something bigger than yourself at Rickerton. More details will be sent out to you all next week, so keep an eye out for that. That's all for this fortnight's Rickerton Report. And remember, do the mahi, get the treats! treats.